Now, the end of Wuhan's quarantine was a triumphant moment for China in the month of April. China declared that it had successfully contained the deadly virus in the place where it had first emerged. But how healthy are the people who recovered from the coronavirus in Wuhan? A recent study of about 100 recovered patients gives us an insight. Now, a team of the Zhong Non Hospital at the Wuhan University has been conducting follow-up visits with about 100 recovered patients since the month of April. And they've released their study results. Now, according to the study, at least about 90% of the recovered patients have reported long-term lung damage, which means that the ventilation and gas exchange functions of their lungs have not recovered to the level of healthy people. Now, 5% of all patients are in a quarantine center again after having tested positive for the virus yet again. Now, the results also show that antibodies required to fight the coronavirus have disappeared in about 10% of the patients. Now, some recovered patients have to rely on oxygen machines even three months after having been discharged from the hospital. It is still unclear if this means that these people have been infected again. The report also mentions that less than half of the recovered patients have returned to work. And according to the report, a lot of the recovered patients have also suffered from depression and a sense of stigma. And most of the recovered patients told the team that their families were not willing to have dinner with them at the same table. But the findings are significant as the coronavirus first emerged in the city of Wuhan. The Hubei province, for which Wuhan is the provincial capital, has reported over 68,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 so far. The disease has claimed more than 4,000 lives in the province.